Ladies and gentlemen, the band is back together. Band, huh? <laughs> Just so long as you're not the one singing, because oh, I've I've heard you sing and it's oh man, sounds like a bag of tortured cats being beaten with a bag of tortured cats. <laughs> ah, it's like kitty, kitty, mew, mew, stick your head in. Ah! Hey, what's up YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the TFC Toys Hercules! <laughs> so here we are, and there he is, good golly Miss Molly, there he is! And he is amazing, he is Hercules, he is Devastator, he is Hercustator, whatever you want to call him, I don't care, I call him awesome. That's what I call him when I introduce him to my friends. I've taken him to three dinner parties already, and people say, what's that? And I say, that's that's awesome. That's what that is. That's, that's how I... But anyway, moving right along, yes, here is Hercules in all his glory, and all I have to say is, this thing is freaking amazing. TFC Toys just did an awesome job on this set, and this is just... Awesome. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say is this is awesome. Now let's try to get in close here and take a look at this big behemoth of a bot here. You can see here he does have the uh, the visor on, if I can get it off. Here's the visor that uh, Neckbreaker comes with. And it does have these little, uh, if you can see them, focus, focus. It does have these little, uh, these little ports on either side here, and there are little pegs on the sides of his eyes. Again, I don't know if you could see it, but they're there. Trust me, they're there. And you just plug them right on, and it, and it does, it holds in more via friction than anything, but it's still quite secure. I'm not worried about it falling off or anything, but still quite, quite awesome. Um, Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. He can look all the way up. He can, you know, <laughs> squirrel! He can look all the way up, and uh, his head can rotate. Very nicely. He does have that amazing light piping. I don't know how well it comes across here, but he has that just amazing light piping. Um, the arms, nice ratchet joint, can do a full 360. Uh, the in and out motion is, is limited due to just how big his shoulders are, so they only go out about that far. Um, this arm, un unfortunately, doesn't go out at all, really. It, it literally only goes out one click just due to this uh, piece on his shoulder. Um, of course, you do get elbow joints, you get rotation at the elbow, uh, you get a lot of movement at the wrist, you get some pivoting action, some rotation. Uh, the hands are fully articulated, you got two joints on the uh, thumb and two joints on each finger. Um, he does have a waist joint on the legs, Let's see if I can pick him up because he's beefy. Um, the legs can go out very far. They can go forward. They can't go back too far just due to uh, this piece here from Heavy Labor. Um, you got rotation at the top part of the hip. You got a knee joint with 90 degrees of movement. You also get rotation at the knee. And of course you have these sweet ankle pivots on um, both Structor and Mad Blender. So he is quite posable. I mean, I've seen pictures of him doing a full-fledged high kick. So he is quite a posable figure for being so big and he is just awesome now of course now that you have all six robots you have all six weapons so you can take all six of your little guns and make one big gun so how you do that is you take mad blender's gun and you take neckbreaker's gun and you just plug them together like that so now you have that piece and then you take uh, dr. crank's gun and Structor's gun, and you plug these in back to back like that, and then you take Heavy Labor's gun and plug that in right there. That one's a little tight. Then you have that, and then you take Excraver's gun and you plug it in backwards. You can see here this uh, this tab right here is going to fit into this slot right there in Dr. Crank's gun. 
And you just plug that in like that. And then you just plug the two pieces together like that. There we go. Have to use a little bit of force. And there you have the big rifle for Hercules. And of course, you also get the red transclearant version, which unfortunately doesn't hold together as well, though. This one's kind of eh, doesn't hold together quite as well as the uh, as the purple version. But you know, you have your options. You have your options. And he does have. Let me raise the camera here. Fingers. Let me raise the camera back up. <laughs> Pardon the shaky camera syndrome here, but I have to do a lot of camera shifting just because he's so freaking big. But he does have this port here in his palm. And you just take this peg right here and just plug it right into his hand. And he can hold on to it. It's very secure and not going to fall out. And now he's got his big mofo gun. And one cool thing, I don't know if this was intentional or just a happy accident. But just due to the fact that uh, Heavy Labor has these ports right here, I mean, you can take the gun and store it because they are uh, these pegs right here. You can just take it and plug it right in. How do I have it? Well, it's falling apart on me. Don't fall apart on me. How do I have this? Oh, yeah, like that. You can take the gun and plug it in right there for, uh, for storage. So, hey. If that was intentional, cool. If it was just a happy accident, still cool. I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So he can store his weapons. But yeah, simply amazing. Oh, and also just, you know, just due to the uh, transformation, he does have a little bit of forward and backward movement there on the shoulders too. Forgot to show that off. But yeah, this thing is just, this thing is just epic. And of course, if you come up here, let me do some more camera shifting here because there's more stuff I can show off. You can take these two uh, pieces here, bring them forward as extra cannons if you want, or you can take this whole assembly and rotate it around and have them just have a humongous cannon, you know, on his shoulder. You can do that. Why not? Dare I say, why not? But yes, this figure is simply amazing. It's very solid, very sturdy. I mean... I am not worried about anything falling off of this figure. It's just it, this. This is a rock. This thing is just dead solid and dead stable. I mean, it's amazing. Just simply amazing. Now, for size comparison, we'll bring in Leader Class Optimus Prime here from Revenge of the Fallen, and you can see he way taller than a Leader Class figure. And we'll also bring in. Little Voyager class, Classics Prime, and as you can see here, Devastator, or Hercustator, just towers above him. And for people that complain about scale, I think this is actually in scale right here, people. I mean, <laughs> a lot of people are saying that, oh, he's not going to be in scale with my Classics figures. Actually, this is, I think, scale accurate. Devastator is supposed to be enormous compared to the other robots. I mean, really, this is right. <laughs> Honestly. Um, and if you want to be really accurate about it, from uh, the tips of his toes to the top of his head, he measures about 13 inches tall, so he is a big, big boy. Um, you know, I, I, I said it before, I, I think this, this was worth the investment. And, um, you know, something I just want to address and... and you know, get off my chest, and I, I just want to put in my two cents about it. For all the people who have been commenting, oh, for as much money as you're paying for them, they should be flawless, they shouldn't have any problems, they shouldn't, you know, they should be perfect. My response is, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, remember Masterpiece Rodimus, the Takara version, remember that? Remember how much that cost? Remember all the problems that thing had? And that was a $200 plus dollar toy. So all I'm trying to say is expensive doesn't mean perfect. Expensive doesn't mean flawless. Expensive does not ensure quality. All expensive means is you paid a lot of money for it. Plain and simple. And I hand it to TF TFC Toys because they addressed the QC issues and they said, oh, 
our bad. Here's the replacement part. Sorry about that. And that to me, I give them two big thumbs up for that, that, you know, because I'm sure other companies would have said, ah, so what? We don't care. We got your money anyway. So we don't care if the product's crap. At least they were cool enough to say, sorry about that. Here's the fix for it. So I, I commend them. I highly commend them for that. But all in all, though, this is just an amazing set. Honestly, I can't recommend this enough. If you have the means to pick up this set, do it. You will not be disappointed. The Make Toys Giant, as far as I'm concerned, can kiss my Make butt, okay? I, <laughs> for me, it's Hercules all the way. This thing is awesome. If you have the means, get it. Get it without a question, without any question, no doubt whatsoever. Get it if you can. And uh, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the TFC Toys Hercules. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Have those Constructicons fixed our gas line yet? Obviously not. Well, have they at least finished our space bridge? Not even close. Duh. You know what? I've had it. I've had it. I'm going to do something about this right now. What are you doing? Don't make them angry. You won't like them when they're angry. Nay! Excuse me, but can I have your attention, please? I just want to say that I am furious at your lack of professionalism. Not only were you watching football when you were supposed to be working, you destroyed our car, you dug a crater on the wrong side of the house, you cut our gas line, and worst of all, you broke our toilet. Do you have any idea how much of Meg's crap I've had to clean up? He will literally go anywhere. I said I was sorry. I have nervous bowels. Well, I've had it, and I'll tell you what, I'm not going to pay you a single dime until you've built our space bridge and fixed everything you've broken. Do you hear me? Not one single dime. So, do I make the check out to all six of you, or just the one?